Skateboarding will be making its debut at the 2019 SEA Games in the Philippines and Singapore will be sending a team up to compete. Now, this is the perfect platform for these skaters to showcase their abilities at a regional level. I'm like really excited to do it because like it's the first time Singapore is in the SEA Games and I think it's very exciting times for skateboarding in general for everyone in around Southeast Asia because it's a growing sport and it's fine it's good to see that it's finally getting recognized. I've never been into like a big event like SEA Games representing Singapore flag so um, I feel like this is the big opportunity for me because uh, there's not a lot of girls who manage to get this opportunity to skate uh, with the other skaters from around the world. And what was your, your reaction when you found out that you are going to be part of the SEA Games? Actually, I was quite surprised because like uh, we all knew how difficult it was to be selected. So like, you know, I just tried to put in my best and uh, just try to skate to my like, maximum ability. Uh, yeah. uh, honestly, we are really very stoked about it. Uh. I'm very excited when I got the news that it's going to be in the SEA Games and when I was given the opportunity to be the coach, I was thrilled and really honoured to you know, get these guys going. How difficult has it been getting the team prepped for the SEA Games with many of them working, schooling and then of course juggling skateboarding as well? Yeah, that's the biggest challenge right now. So we've come up with a few days that will work for everyone and also getting the um, you know letters out for those guys who are working and those guys who are serving NS at the moment to be out from it so that they could train. Um, I'm actually a full-time graphic designer at this rock climbing gym. And then to balance out with my schedule and skateboarding, it's pretty hard for me. So I'll just take a few time out like after work or before work then I'll go for my trainings and all that. How would you describe the skateboarding scene in Singapore right now? One of the examples that you do see from the growth is this skate park right here. This skate park is especially like for me I have traveled out around the world and see all the international standard kind of skate park. This is definitely one of the best. So right now I feel like it's more exposed a lot of people are skating because we have this new platform, social platform like YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook. From there, they can learn skateboarding in various ways. Yeah, I think the scene in Singapore is really awesome, especially with Vans Singapore helping out with a lot of uh, competitions, you know, organizing a lot of events. So that's helping us a lot. Before, we didn't have any much events like that. And finally, the SEA Games is a special tournament. First time you'll be participating in it. What goals have you set for yourself? Um, you know, like, um, try to do my best, you know. Because, uh, like, you know, expectations being put on me is, like, uh, it's quite stressful. So just try to do the best, yeah. For me, it's pretty much to expose myself. Because um, in Singapore, I don't think there's much exposure. So it's really pretty cool for Singapore to send skaters and all that for the first time on a big competition. So I think it's pretty much an exposure for me. Okay, we are looking for a medal at least, right? So I'm, I don't know, hoping for one at least. So yeah, we've been preparing pretty well. So yeah, I think we'll, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs>